All right, Mr. Free Beer, let's do this. Uh, I'm trying not to randomly steal from you. Give me a drink. What will be? That is some next-gen freaking full-screen blur going on there. Holy crap! No. Do I really have to manually scroll down? Start at one. <laughs> Let me scroll up to higher numbers. That's weird that they default to. Would you like to buy all of the money of all the product I've ever stocked in the store? Yes? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's try to make a- oops. Let's try to make a dude like me. I did do something illicit earlier, so if I can make a random guard up front like me, that might offset that a little bit. Because even if I don't plan on joining them, making the general group like me more can still have benefits. Your buddy Alvar is dead. He is? I mean, wh what? He's dead. Yeah, yes I got that shit. I knew nothing good would happen to that old soak, but dead. He was a good friend. Thank you for letting me know. Where is his body? Below Ragnar's stronghold. Right. I will take care of his funeral as soon as I can. I brought your beer. Ah, that's what I need. About time too. And so here's where you give me my reward. Your reward was getting in through that gate. Be grateful. Letting people in is your job. So is keeping people out. I give the word and you'll never get in here. So much for the honor of the Berserkers. So that's what it means when I, when I get a combat score increase then. Because I, I can supposedly incre my, increase my combat score and I'm like, what does that mean? But I think that, I think that actually affects dialogue too. I can make him fight? Let's not do that. I don't want trouble. Good. I thought you might see sense. And seeing as you played by the rules, I'll put in a word for you with the boss man himself. Ragnar. Warlord of the Hooded Crows. You need pledges if you want promotion. And we need reliable people in our clan. Of course, giving you my word would be a pretty big favor. So if I did that, I'd probably need a favor in return. Say, in the form of shards. Holy shit, this guy can fuck off. I'm not paying for your word. You're not paying for a word. You're paying for a chance. Always better to be part of a team. Then we can watch each other's backs. After all, it's my job as a guard to keep people safe. That guy sucks. But, he, but I got 100 experience, so I guess there's that. You should put that away. Technology will get you into trouble here. You should put that away. It is, it's one of those things where it's like, it's, it's an amusing little detail. Like, oh, look, they acknowledge that you're using your watch. Then immediately you're like, oh my God, shut up. Shut up and go away. It's funny how it can be annoying that, like that annoying that somebody just like, goes against you just using an action periodically. It's just an audio cue. Like it has no effect on gameplay. It does not like disposition drop and they're not, Stopping me in any way, so it's remarkable how that can happen. I suppose we can call it the Navi effect. Well, I want those damn hit points that I trained for. Ah, crap. That was the... Who was that? Was that the armor? It might have been the armor smith, it might have been that one guy who was like, Get out of here, outsider! And then he was like, Oh, you want training? Crap, I'm in the wrong spot now. Ah, oh, well, let's just poke around. Might as well explore this area. For named characters and whatnot. So there's a big cost for stealing, like there isn't a lot of Western RPGs, which is at the moment you steal something in line of sight, you just immediately get attacked. Which is... A hell of a response. There's some really nasty moments in particular happening in my game of uh, Divinity. You should leave, okay? Sorry. Where uh, all I did was move something Can a little I bit. I didn't I didn't even you? steal it. I just slid it across the room a little bit and that led to them attacking me on the site and I was like, "Holy shit." A severe response. Is this another Yep. Poor Mag. I haven't met you yet. So you're the third warlord. So this place is basically, it's a, this, this game has three factions, four if you count the big bads that I, we probably can't join, judging by my skill tree. 
But then this faction is built to split into three sub-factions, essentially, that all compete and work together and so on, and are unified by the Pilgrim, but he's not here. Welcome, incomer. I hope you are being treated well. Goliath has always opened its doors to those who need shelter. But these are hard times, and war grows suspicions. As for me, I think the free people should work together in this war with the elves. So he may, he's maybe the reasonable one, talking about uh, everyone working together against the Albs. He's also somebody that that lady thought that might actually help with her problem, too. Will I have trouble here? It will mostly be talk. People gossip about incomers. If you want the people here to trust you, then help them. Once they do, they will open their doors to you. You will have a place to stay. A chance to become one of us. And they will likely reward you for your trouble. We berserkers believe in second chances. It's your choice whether you take that chance or not. Who are you? I am Cormag, warlord of the Hammer Clan. Each of the clans has its own calling, and ours is magic. A gift given to us in our time of need. Proof that this planet needed a guardian, and that it chose us. We can channel power through our bodies, and battle the machines of the clerics. The power mana gives us seems limitless, and yet it seems so normal now, doesn't it? It's hard to remember that magic is only a generation old. We have only just started our study of it, and the Hammer Clan has made that study our purpose. Well, look at that. He's the most welcoming one, and he's the one that I'd be most interested in dealing with if I was to join this clan, this group, because of the, uh, the magic inclinations. Because summoning a wolf is a cool fucking idea. <laughs> Ooh, teach me something is an option? Teach me something. Sure. <laughs> sure. I've got all day. I'm not leading a clan or anything. He can teach you grenade skill? Okay. Mutant killer, machine killer. I do want those, but intelligence and dexterity have to be way up there, huh? Oh, cunning intelligence and dexterity. Wow, a lot of things have to be way up there. A jetpack melee attack. That's a cool idea. Attack strength. I need 30 strength for that heavy weapons. This is dexterity. Ranged weapons. More dexterity and intelligence. I'm somewhat limited here, aren't I? Hey, still doesn't treat me teach me the skill I want. Cinda needs your help. More trouble with the supplies? What can I do to help? She needs people to collect the food deliveries. I thought Angram had sent men to do that. The men he sent are dead. They were attacked by a troll. And more will die if our men aren't fed. Still, if Angram is worried about sending men, then there must be a real danger. I will send men to help Cinda. But if they're to go out there, then I want to improve their odds of survival. We recently captured some movement detectors from the clerics. They're being stored in the pit, ready for the elix to be taken out of them. Get me one of those movement detectors, and I will give Cinder the help she wants. Ah, I seem to have stumbled into the exact quest that... that indicated somebody wanted the movement detector, but... <laughs> I hadn't actually gotten the quest yet, but the game said that I had the quest, and that was really confusing. So I think I figured out who wanted it now. Okay. Isn't taking technology from the pit against the law? Sometimes, laws must be broken for problems to be fixed. Get me that detector, and I will help Cinda. Those are my terms. So he's the most welcoming character. He is open to, uh, he's the magic character, and in addition to that, he has the most loose uh, relationship with the laws around here, which is the most irritating and stifling part of the society, is their, their self-destructive stiffness, essentially. What do you think about your laws? Our laws bind us. They tell us who we are, how we interpret them. That is where we can do better. Death and exile shouldn't be the only sentences. There should be reward in repentance. Leniency could save us valuable people. You think other berserkers are too harsh? Dedicated, not harsh. 
And sometimes dedication can blind us to other ways of thinking. Just imagine if we berserkers could enhance the cleric's energy weapons or the outlaw's explosives with the power of mana. Who could stop us then? Now, Angram would say that giving into technology would destroy us. But I wonder whether holding on to the laws too tightly would do the same. After all, there were those who tried to stop using magic. They said it was against nature. Now magic is all that defends it. Whatever my thoughts, the laws we have now are the ones we must follow. Look at that. He's like one of the most reasonable characters we've met in the entire game, basically. And, uh... He's not afraid of technology. He doesn't think it's a magical, spooky ghost that's gonna come out of the darkness and bite you. It's like, it's just... They're just devices. You, like... You, you have the power to do whatever you want with them. Are there problems between the clans? Give any group a name and they'll use it as a cause for argument with others. But, while there are always differences, we are all berserkers. Anyone who forgets that needs a swift reminder of their true allegiance. You have traitors here? Not traitors. Troublemakers. People whose mouths move faster than their minds. You think we should use the law to silence anyone who thinks differently? I say they need to be convinced that our cause is best served if we work together. I've been saying that over and over, but it seems some people have stopped listening. Maybe they would listen to me. Perhaps. You could do me a favor and talk to Elder. He's been speaking out against the Isen clan but I'm not sure of the reason behind his anger. You will find him living with the other cultivators down in the cultivator house. I'd be grateful if you can find out the reason he's upset before this bad feeling escalates into something else. I have the movement detector you wanted. Excellent work. Now my men stand a chance of seeing danger before they walk into it. Tell Cinder she can count on the support of the Hammer Clan. I will tell the men to be ready. There we go. Good thing to follow up on. Now I've found all three leaders. Still not entirely... Still don't entirely have this place figured out as far as how to navigate from spot to spot. I think that... I think that's where the shield... Yeah, that's where Armor Guy was and uh, Snooty McTooty. Asshole man. Snooty McTooty. So I took a wrong turn, but it led to Cormac, so that's cool. And I'm just gonna go jumping down there, and no one's gonna get mad at me for my amazing jetpack powers of awesomeness. Because they're too awesome to get mad at, no matter how much you hate technology, right? There we go. Alright. Yeah, it was you over here. Right? Hakon. Teach me something. Yes. Yes. Yes, here's the constitution skills. So I can give myself resistance to a bunch of different things. Radiation, fire, frost, poison. I can't do armor yet. I need five more points into strength before I can get the bonus protection from armor, but I probably want that ultimately. Acquire trophies from animals. More health from eating food. Adventurer, sixth sense. Extra hit points, that's what we're going for. Stamina might be worth it too. Let's just get the hit points first. There we go, and stamina can't hurt. That's got to be a useful skill, right? I mean, it's freaking stamina. Oh, and this increases my survival rating, which means I then have... If I if I need survival too and whatnot, I can then... Okay, yeah, I understand how the system works now. So now if something requires survival too in my dialogue, then my multiple survival points I've invested will lead to those dialogues options being available. I'm gonna get the second stamina one, the first stamina one. Next one's gonna cost me 1,000. Boy, and, and my last skill point. And 60 constitution. That's the only extra hit points one though. Oh, you can see how many extra hit points I got because it's there now. <laughs> the uh, difference is empty in the meantime. Let's try jogging for a bit. See if I can even, I'm not entirely sure if I'd even notice how much was added I didn't- I haven't played the action part of this game enough to fully appreciate it. But hey, it means I can run further and do better in combat and whatnot, so that's good. So I'm pretty sure they 
Stop tak. using that here. This is no place for technology. This is no place for technology. I'm pretty sure that dude sent me to go talk to Eldur. Yeah. Mark him on the map. See, if, is he still down there? He's in the same spot. All right. Let's just teleport to the front door then. That's the fast way. We have yet another thing pointing back to Eldur once again. Are you going to be annoying again? Nope, you didn't stop me this time. I'm not trying to get a favor again. So Eldur has been talking out against the whatchamacallit clan? The Aizen clan. I wonder, is it because of the lack of coverage with the uh, guards around here? Because that's definitely the thing he keeps lobbying. Eldur, I've heard you're causing trouble with the Aizen clan. What about it? Do you have a problem with the Aizen clan? It's not me with the problem. It's that self-important pinchdick Oren who has the problem. He won't serve me or anyone else from the Hammer clan. You want to do a 10-day stretch of guard duty and then find out you can't even get a beer at the end of it? Has he only banned the Hammer clan? As far as I know, and selfish as it is, who cares if he's banned anyone else? I'm worried about my beer. What's all this got to do with you? Cormac doesn't want conflict between the clans. Well, someone needs to speak to Oren then. It's that self-important sack of ass grapes that has the problem, not me. You get him to change his mind and let the Hammer Clan back in the tavern. That will sort everything out. Huh. What was Oren expecting exactly? Because he's creating trouble within a relatively small society. There's just not that many people around here, so like, if you're gonna cause that kind of trouble, everyone's gonna start figuring out relatively quickly. Hell, I don't, I'm not even from here and I'm already aware of this, apparently. Is that why he's sitting out front? <laughs> don't try anything, alright? The Hammer Clan sent me. Ah, that's a shame. Bar's just closed. Then open it. You're going to serve the Hammer Clan from now on. Am I? Strange. Here was me thinking I decided who gets served. And I don't have any reasons why I should change my mind. Charisma 3, you're all berserkers. Oh, that would be convenient, wouldn't it? Jesus. Suggestion spell, serve, serve the Hammer Clan or I'll drown you in your own beer? If you have a mind control chip, why do you even need to threaten people? That's odd. Serve them or I'll kill you. Or maybe this Alexit will change your mind. Jesus. I'm not planning on threatening people around here, but also that's a lot of money that I don't think I have right now. So either I get to Charisma 3 or that suggestion chip installed, which will happen eventually. Or we or nothing happens here. And what are you doing? Let's see. Is one of you is Charisma an individual? Let's see. Combat, survival, crafting, personality, berserker, outlaw, cleric. So is Charisma equal to personality or is it something in here? Emotional, balance, synthetic, attribute, beast, friend of beasts, advocate, practitioner. Where is it? Mining. Is it a berserker skill? I don't remember where it was. There's a suggestion. The occasional mind control power. Need 30 intelligence, 30 cunning, and you need to be a member of the clerics, which I think I'll do. But am I crazy? I thought I saw a charisma skill in this game, and they, there's a charisma check happening. But I feel like I don't see it anywhere. Lock picking, pickpocketing. You could kind of expect it to be with the pickpocketing skills sometimes. That's interesting, by the way. If I upgrade my hacking skill 
and my pick and my lock picking skill which are handy things to get for this for the purposes of being able to open things up that will increase my crafting skill which means it affects crafting dialogue that's worth noting I don't see charisma I think that might just be the overall personality score or I might be missing something really dumb but he's gonna be a problem apparently but the best I can do for now is just try to level up I think let's see Cormac, let's see, Cormac is ready to help Cinda. Let's go talk to Cinda then. I think I might end up accompanying them on this mission. Which would be nice, because I haven't gone out in the field for such a long time now. Cinda. Alright, I'm just going to awkwardly walk behind the counter now. Sorry. The Hammer Clan will get your supplies. They will? You convinced Cormac to help? Yes. Oh, you don't know what a relief that is. I was going crazy here. The least I can do is offer you some Alexit as thanks for your help. Uh, sure, let's be nice. Give me what you think is fair. Give me what you think is fair. Well, the Ice and Clam were due two payments. I guess they won't be claiming them now. There was 250 for the first. The same again for the second, so you get 500 Alexit. Son of a bitch. That doesn't happen very often. You can ask for 100 or 300 or ask for, or just don't put a number on it and you get a way bigger number. That's awesome. All right, so Charisma 4. Yeah, I think Charisma equals personality. I think they're just not using the same word for some reason, even though I think the other ones do use the same word, which is slightly weird. Hmm. I think I'll just leave. I don't think I'm going to be something. No, I have nothing. To, what am I doing? I have nothing to learn from her because my skills are all low. Okay. Is that so? Is that quest just over? By the way, this game loves bloom and light differences between insides and outsides of rooms, which is actually relatively well done. Put that technology away. For a video game, it's it's slightly annoying. Obviously, to have the screen be that white or that dark, but it it's relatively good color contrast, uh, light contrast between the inside and outside. Alright, so I can't do a house ban right now. That's a problem. I can't deal with, uh, Outlaw Bigby either. The Ornir issue. <laughs> the two, two people with confusingly similar names. Orin and Ornir. I need to get that brain chip, basically, if I want to deal with them. Or I need to get other things. Or just get so much money that I don't care, I guess. I don't really care about trading Elex to the Shmana Shrine right now. I can pretty much let those go. Corny left somewhere. Berserker Warrior. That might be the next thing to do is, is look into that. The uh, the murder. Circumstantial evidence. Baron, Garen, Eirdor, Rock, and Thorgal. I think that's the only main... Yeah, yeah, that's the main thing to follow up on now. Our... So they're all suspected by Ran Ragnar and were in the forest at the time of Asgore's murder. Question them. What I'm curious about is that they said that the stabs were clumsy, so I would expect that the uh, the murderer would probably be a cultivator, judging by the lack of proficiency with weapons. Oh, they are way out there, by the way. Far and away from the main base. Oh, they are on a trip. Okay. He's all the way out here. That's interesting. It may be time to go out in the field then. Okay. Let's, uh... Go towards the southern one if I can. Is there a north on the map? Yes, there's a north on the map. Let's start in the south and head out. Get out there and get my character leveled up. Get some skills and then use those. Going forward. So that we can, uh... Learn the other abilities I want, and then also, at some point, I want to I want to meet the other faction. I want to meet the other factions, and then see if I can then join with the uh, what's it called? God damn it! Uh, the the clerics. Which is weird because I I think I can just click on it right now if I want to, which is weird. Is there anything stopping me from just clicking on this right now?
I can test it. That's what I thought. There's no click on it point. So I think you need to do story missions with the cl with the group in order to join the the uh, faction. Cuz you can't actually learn anything via that screen. It's just the intuitive thing to try to do because of how skill trees tend to work in video games, but that's actually not how it works in this game. Being able to do that's pretty satisfying. <laughs> Okay. Weird chunk of debris. Woo! Almost, almost hit the ground. Hey, I can use that. More sulfur nuggets. I wonder if that re if that thing uses fuel, like if it runs out. I should be worried about that or not. I also wonder how bad I'm going to get myself killed wandering around out here alone, with no companions. I just think back to freaking Radiation Axe guy. Last time I wandered around in the open world, it ended very poorly for me. But I've gained a couple levels, including some health. And I think everything in the game scales with your level, because every they they constantly point out that stuff will increase the level. Is that the troll? Oh, screw you. I said I might be a little more powerful, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. I'm thinking that's I think that thing over there is a rat that hits you with radiation damage. I think that's why it's covered in green sores. Let's avoid aggroing that if I can. And hey, as I explore out here, I'll probably get some more teleportation points. Are those guys hostile? I'm hoping not, because, like... They're my objective. <laughs> the suspects aren't supposed to be kill on sight, necessarily, but we'll see. Ooh, is this, is this stealing? Nope. Why are these cigarettes even usable? They're at a freaking, uh... Ooh, what's up there? They're at, a, they're at an ashtray. You'd think that they'd already be used. Uh-oh. Okay. Whoa. That went below red, didn't it? Curious about that a little bit. Uh... Seems like, much like Breath of the Wild, you might be able to, like, sort of rescue yourself at the last second a little bit with this thing. Uh-oh. 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 Um, I was going for that platform, but that didn't work out. I'm curious to learn whether you can upgrade this thing. Give it more capacity. And this ain't a Ubisoft game, but the first thing I did was give myself a hood and then start climbing radio towers. Ooh. Seems like there is something up here. Wine. And a gold nugget. Sure. Dash something everywhere, just in case the player checks, right? And jumping to my death. Hooray! That's terrifying. <laughs> Something that really seals the deal on how fast you're moving is that the camera does not keep up with your character and your character gets smaller on the screen. You're like, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean it. Leonard. Hey, you, what are you doing? You're scaring away everything within a day's walk. You crash around like that, you'll scare off anything you can eat and attract everything that wants to make a meal of you. I don't know these forests. That's as plain as a horny troll in your sleeping sack. You'd better learn quick if you want to stay alive. You're scaring away the prey that is my livelihood. It's hard enough bringing in the food I have to, without some big-footed oaf crashing through the forest. Still, seeing as you aren't a natural hunter, maybe you'd like to buy some goods from me. 
You're a hunter? Yeah, I found my place. This is where I belong, with nature and for nature. I want nothing to do with Goliath. Why not? Too much talking, too much bullshit. Out here, peace. But you look like a talker. Is that why you're here, to talk? What are you hunting? Whatever I find. You can't be too picky if you want to hit Goliath's quota and feed yourself. You won't catch anyone in Goliath roasting a rot boar. They're missing good meat. Do you want to stay a hunter? Nothing wrong with hunting. Let other people kiss ass and climb ladders. I want to stay out here. It's bad enough they send me these half-baked apprentices. You don't like apprentices? Apprentices want to be hunters. I get people who don't want to be anything else, so get sent here. You don't think they deserve a chance? Sending them here just gives them a chance to get killed. Live day to day, having to hit your quota of meat to send home. While you train people who don't want to be here? I went hunting with Leonard a few days ago. He was so clumsy, he brought a whole pack of raptors down on us. We got home here with no meat, and all of those damn raptors followed us right back here onto our hunting grounds. I'm not doing that again. You should take care of the raptors. Hunt raptors alone? Sure. Why not? What's the point of living, hey? Me? I'm gonna have to wait those raptors out, and Goliath will get its meat when I'm ready. Teach me something. Sure. Might as well see what his list is. Oh. Same old, same old. I think. Yeah, it's all the same survival skills. Now that I understand that it's he, they're teaching one tab at a time, that makes sense. So I could get survival three if I wanted to go for good eater, but I'm not really interested in that as, mu as much necessarily. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's more healing, and your your health doesn't auto-regen, so it is an efficiency thing. Maybe I should just grab it. Uh, let's just go for it. There we go. Survival 3. About the raptors. Have you found the raptors' trail? They've been moving around a lot, but it looks like they're to the west of here for now. Why don't we hunt them together? I've had one apprentice almost get me killed. I don't need another amateur risking my life. And that's what you'd be doing. <laughs> I don't got a combat skill of three, so I would be an amateur. Oopsie. Just open my disc tray, which I always forget exists. And then I bump into it periodically, and then Mist 3 Exile comes popping out, and then I've got this disc I gotta do something with. <laughs> I couldn't just put it back in, and it might try to launch Mist 3 Exile in the middle of this, and oh no. Uh, you can trust me. You can trust me. I don't trust anyone. Well, that's not working out. Man, there are a lot of skill checks in this game. It's almost like it's not made by Bethesda or something. <laughs> a berserker was killed. The body was found in the forest. The forest is a dangerous place. Sociable guy, aren't you? Sociable just means happy to talk shit. I don't talk shit. Do you always hunt with a bow? A bow? Traps? You should always try and kill at a distance. Learn that, and you will live longer. I'm here to feed berserkers, not the creatures. It's a bit of a naive, uh... Bit of a naive thing to just say, Well, he didn't get killed by a bow, so it couldn't have been him. But, uh, it is at least a point against the idea that it was him, that he hunts with a bow and the guy was killed with the sword clumsily. I still think it's a cultivator. I think we're gonna find out that it was a cultivator and that's why he was clumsily killed by a, so a sword. Or as, or as an exile of some kind. When were you last in the forest by Goliath? I don't know. Not for a year. This is the best area for hunting, and all Goliath cares about is me filling my quota. 
As long as I send the meat and fur, I can stay out here away from small talk and politics. You almost gotta wonder a little bit why he bothers being a part of society in the first place. If he's entirely self-sufficient from all the hunting, uh, and he doesn't like Goliath or any people seemingly, and doesn't go to Goliath, and doesn't seem to have connections to it, why does he bother with being a part of their society and like filling their meat quota? Like you'd expect that the, you'd expect the people hunting for food for Goliath to have a more direct connection to them, but he just sort of maybe maybe deep down he just has some feeling of security, some idea of necessity that it's just you're better off to be a part of society even at a distance than it is to be completely on your own because then if anything goes wrong you're completely screwed. So maybe he's like maybe he's more more favorable to the freelance freelancer feeling but still wants to have someone he can call on when shit actually goes down if it does the berserker who was murdered was called Asgor did you know him? Asgor? that asshole yeah I knew him I kept out of his way he kissed Ragnar's ass and treated everyone else like rot bore shit you didn't like Asgor I didn't put myself in a position where I needed to. It'll shit won't be missed. Sounds like you had a grudge. I think most people are assholes. You only ask me about Asgore. What's with all these questions? Is some asshole trying to pin this on me? I'm questioning anyone I meet out here. If you want an alibi for me, you'll have to go out there and speak to the raptors. Is that your only alibi? I'm a hunter. You want to know where I am? I'm always here in the forest. What do you have to trade? I should check, but I probably can't afford anything. Ooh, warrior sword. Still can't afford either of these things. No armor. That was the main thing I was hoping for. I can buy entrails. That's exciting. You want some, some entrails? Let's see. I, I could try to sell off my uh, ooh, explosive bolt. Not sure if I'll use arrows, and I could get 40 off of those, but it's a little... little iffy. Oh, more cigarettes, like always. Always with the cigarettes. There we go. Did I really get that many since last time? Jesus. Or did I just not sell them off? <laughs> Toy dinosaur. Oil lamp. Guess I've just been collecting a lot, huh? Crumpled notes. I'm not interested in selling a lot of these things. I think I'll stop there. I wonder if stuff like claws can be used for crafting. I'll just accept the trade now. 